Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have to have an honest conversation about ASAP Rocky wearing skirts and old church lady shoes while he's a new father. Okay, so I'm going to keep it real. Once a man becomes a father, you need to present yourself as such. You have to set an example for your son because you have a son. Now, what you are into, as I always say, you know, I personally think ASAP is non-binary on the low and I also think he's bisexual on the low I've always believed it because he's been wearing feminine clothes since he first came to the scene publicly in 2010 2011 but we gotta be honest about this is this healthy is he doing this because he's trying to set trends trying to follow the trends or is he doing this because he wants to break free of masculinity or what society has deemed as masculine however even if that's the case once you make the choice to become a father those things you it's not healthy to do now you can do what you want to do it's your body it's your choice i'm just gonna come out and say it but you have to look at the person that you're rearing, the person you're raising. You want them to follow your examples. I'm sure he might not like it if his son decides, I want to wear a dress. Or I want to dress up. And I'm going to keep it real here. I want to dress up as Beyonce while she performs on stage. You know, because we can all say little boys want to wear dresses. But... You got some little boys that may want to look like a woman who is basically exotic, you know, selling sex. Because it can go that direction. What are you going to do as a father? You know, you got to ask those things. And my other thing is with Rihanna, is this something that she's into? You know, what goes on in relationship? Is what goes on in a relationship. But once we the public sees it, we got a right to comment on it. And that's just all I have to say about that. You know, this is a new type of culture, new type of world. You know, I'm born in the 80s, early 80s to be exact. ASAP is born, I believe, in 1990 or 1988. He's actually the young cousin of my friends that I went to junior high school with. And he's not totally Bayesian. He's half Bayesian. Because my cousins, they were a quarter Bayesian. So that's like a whole nother story. But this is a person who's famous. He's iconic. He's actually bigger in Europe than in the United States. And he's from uptown. Where, as me, I'm from like lower part of Harlem. He's from uptown. But um, I just wanted to make that, you know, distinction. I mean, I hate to say it, but the leather itself, I think, is of good quality. But it's just not appealing. It's not cute to see men in skirts. It's not. And it's like an old, it's a, it's a midi skirt. It's not even a maxi. And it's not a mini. But it's just all bad. It's not cool. It's not cool all around. And whoever is co-signing this to be put in our culture, we got to have sh- men to basically put the clamps on this and be like, nah, uh-uh, mm-mm. I got one thing I'm going to say when I'm, when I, before I end this. I really miss the early 90s. I really do. I kind of miss the 2000s. I kind of miss the 2000s, to be honest. And with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for listening to this commentary. 
If you haven't done so, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell to basically receive notices on upcoming commentaries, reviews, and lives. Share, like, and comment, and I'll be back soon. Later.